right, so Geechee Gotti and Jazz the Rapper has been booked for Queens, Kings versus Queens 3. I think it's three now. I don't know. Two or three, whatever. It doesn't matter. Geechee Gotti and Jazz, the 911 operator, has been booked. I, I can't believe this battle's been booked. I didn't think Jazz would take it. Okay, you know we, we barely we don't we don't see jazz like that. We see jazz one, well, once in a while. We we don't we don't see jazz like that. Um, and Geechee's just known to just destroy people. Uh, just did it to Mike P. Um, you could say he did it to Lux. I know he lost to Cal. We're gonna talk about Cal in a second. But Geechee usually has one of those one incredible just rounds that you know stick with it. And just gets real personal on the dude and tries to uh, destroy. And I know Jazz said that. She's like, Geechee doesn't really do that for three rounds, but he always has that one round. I don't know what round it's going to be, but I, I, I'm scared, you know. <laughs> we, we already know. You know, and they've been having, if you guys are unaware, they've had a lot of friendly banter back and forth on Twitter as far as going in on each other. Uh, Geechee calling her, I don't know, like a uh, box set or something. I don't know. All right, it, it's pretty funny. But, uh... That just sounds like a great battle, bro. All right, Geechee versus Jazz. That just sounds great. You already know Geechee's gonna lose his mind and go crazy. He's gonna give you a round that's just gonna be out of here. How does Jazz counter this? You know, that nine nine eleven operator angle is crazy for for a Geechee guy to to have and to use. And it's like, how does how is Jazz gonna counter it? She's really going to have to be creative and try to figure something out because she knows it's coming. All right. Even though it's a, it's an easy angle and, and a tip, uh, not, you know, it, it's right there for the taking. And Geechee Gotti usually can take those angles that are right there for the taking. All right. And just deliver it in a way where it's just like, wow. You know, because we've all heard the Mike P stuff. I mean, we had the bill collector do it, Ryder do it and this, that. But when Geechee did it, it really hit the way he delivered it. And the way he just went off on it. And it helped that it was a one-rounder for sure. But that battle just sounds insane. Geechee's been on a crazy roll. And um, Jazz, it's always it's always good to have Jazz back. We don't really get to see her that often. She battles very un, un, not not very rarely, un, unfrequently. So I'm, I'm excited for that now. Hold on. And I, hold on. I do know another battle on that card. I just do. I can't say. It's a DME Detroit legend versus a woman. That's all I can say. A DME Detroit legend versus. What, what, what can I can I give a hint? Can I give a hint? Can I give a hint? Uh, fire and ice. Ah, enough. Enough said. Just announce the dang card. You already announced Geechee. I don't understand why they wait so long to announce the freaking cards. Just announce them so the hype train can start. These guys love to just drag everything on, man. For crying out loud, URL. You, why do you guys drag every... You guys even drag the announcements, bro. Like, it just... It'd be it's so crazy. But, um... All right... That's gonna be a good battle too. That's gonna be a good battle too. So when you see it announced, you'll know that that's the battle I was talking about. All right, DME Detroit Legend versus some chick. We'll see what happens. Um, Calico and Chess. Now Calico and Chess is going down in Atlanta. I believe it said March 24th or 27th. All right, whatever, one of those days. I think it's March 27th in Atlanta. It's, it had the caffeine logo on it. I didn't really say what event it was, but it's gonna be. Uh, a, a URL caffeine slash event. Um, now, C Cal did say he wanted to battle Easy the Block Captain in Philly. That was the last thing I've heard Cal talk about. All right, in Philly, but he's got he gets Chess instead in Atlanta, where actually Cal's based out of right now. So yeah, I, I believe he, he's got a second home in Atlanta, or maybe that might even be his first home. I know he comes to Detroit. He's got a studio right down the street here, um, and he does that good stuff. But it doesn't matter. Uh, so it's kind of technically a Calico's home. Uh, so I'll have the home court advantage there. Um, even though it's Cal's a Detroit dude, but you know, if you, he's moved, so whatever. So it's kind of, you know, whatever. But anyways, chess. I don't think it's going to, 
be a factor here, especially it's a caffeine setting, uh, regardless whether it's a home game or away game. And honestly, it does sound kind of weird saying Atlanta is a home game for Cal. I, uh, let me take that all back. But um, good. This is a good battle. I mean, Chess. Look, when Chess is on his game, Chess is is great. Like he literally is great. When when Chess is a one and he's hitting on all cylinders, bro. I mean, it's hard to deny. It's hard to deny Chess. Um, so you know, his last performance was was cool. And then, you know, he has his easy to block captain performance. Um, was that his last performance? I don't even know. I thought he had one more after that, but I could be bugging. I, I don't know. But that was a good performance. Uh, very close battle. I think easy might have edged it, but a lot of people have chess winning that battle. Calico now is coming off the Sioux Surf loss. Um, but his pr prior battles before that, very good. The a ver yeah. Cal has been very, very exceptional. This past few battles, um, aside, aside that Sioux Surf battle, and he wasn't even bad in that battle. I gave it 2 1 to Sioux Surf. Um, it was a rematch, remember, he already beat Surf in New Jersey, so it's like, how much motivation did it really have to coming into this battle? I know him, and he's been going back and forth with Surf leading into that battle. Surf's on that coming off the John John battle, all right, and then proceeding with that New Jersey twerk battle. So, we got Surf's three battle run here. And then Cal was in that middle one. And I still think that was Sue Surf's weakest performance out of the three. He still won. But I thought his John John was his best performance. His Twerk was the second best. And then the Calico was his third best, even though it was a win. Um, if you rewatch that battle, can you have Cal winning? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I, I'm not going to say no for sure. Because, again, I didn't like I didn't like Sue Surf's angle with his dad is not in. His dad's not in. Uh. Uh, a BMF series. His dad wasn't part of BMF while that series was taking a, a place in the time period they're in, sir. So that doesn't, if he was in that series, it wouldn't even make no sense because the time period his dad was involved, like, and who cares, like, that he wasn't in the series. Like, but, um, anyways, I, I don't even think I rewatched that. Have I rewatched that battle? I don't know. I don't know. But, Chess and Cal, Chess and Cal, you know, it's hard. Look, Chess is like that young dude, but he old. He's like super old. Like you almost would think Chess is older than Cal, but he looked like he like nineteen. So it's like, you you know, this is gonna be a good battle, and I just wonder what kind of what Chess is, how Chess is gonna approach Cal, and how Cal's gonna approach Chess, because this is gonna be an interesting one. I think their approaches is really gonna matter here, and how if they get over on the on the in the crowd. If there's going to be a crowd. Well, I'm, I mean, we're open now, so I'm sure there's, there's always going to be a crowd now. I, I'm assuming. Um, we'll see. But, you know, they're, they're kind of moving to this whole battle rappers and, and cool, cool media are allowed. And, like, you know, that's what the uh, uh, Remy Ma did. And that's what Midnight Madness is. But I think those crowds are kind of whack because, the, like, this is what killed me about uh, Yoshi G. Let's talk about her for a second. Y'all kept saying, this is what I kept hearing. Oh, how could the crowd be biased? It's just battle rappers and 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 cool me invited media, all right. And in the same breath, they would say that they would say, "Well, Yoshi pissed off all the battle rappers, so she's just gonna have to fight through it." That don't make no sense. So, are they gonna be not biased, or are they gonna be using their biases against Yoshi because they don't like her? I literally heard ba battlers say the same thing, the same two, say two sentences consecutively, like it didn't contradict itself, like. I don't know, guys. Y'all, I don't know. So, I got Geechee. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm almost leaning 3-0 Geechee. Can, can Jazz get around? Sure. There's... I don't see... Eh, there is no chance Jazz wins this battle. I just can't see it. How does Jazz win the battle? Unless Geechee has a complete and utter meltdown on stage, Jack Boy-esque. I, and how, why would that even ever happen? I don't see Geechee losing this battle. So I'm going to go with Geechee 2-1, possibly 3-0. Um, and I don't even think that's a that's a, that's a hot take. I really don't. And then, um, obviously, I'm going with Cal over Chess. Hopefully, uh, Cal, you know, puts it together, gets the right angles involved, and, and goes in. I'm just hoping for a fire classic battle here because that would actually be better than a, a, a Calico body bag because, you know, we want to see Chess. Chess fire is always entertaining. Cal Fire is always entertaining. So them both being fire, 
give us a nice like DME Detroit style classic. That's probably what we all would want. But I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Love you guys. Peace.